All right, welcome to this scene on Hemophilus Ducreyi, represented by this guy over here who has pain on his genitals. Let's talk about this pathogen, Hemophilus Ducreyi, and then we're going to talk about why we saw mice at the beginning of this scene. So let's take a look. In the back of this alleyway, we see a random poster of the chancroid caused by Hemophilus Ducreyi a few days after inoculation, a papule or papules form, which develop into pustules and then into painful ulcers. This is a good mnemonic, PPP, papule, pustule, then painful ulcer. Actually, in this picture over here, we see several painful ulcers. But just keep in mind that it doesn't only affect males, it could also affect females, although it's more common in males. Another thing to keep in mind is that this lesion is uncommon in the US. We see it more in Latin America and in Southeast Asia, as well as in Africa. But we do see it come up in the United States, for example, in those who trade sex for drugs or money. And that's why this scene is taking place in this alleyway, where this guy is probably trading sex for drugs or money. Let's take a look at the next poster. Here we see the typical gram stain of Haemophilus ducreyi. Just like its cousin, Haemophilus influenza, Haemophilus ducreyi is a gram-negative coxobacillus. Now let's talk about treatment. These mice over here, mice for mycin. For example, azithromycin and erythromycin. These are considered typical treatments for Haemophilus ducreyi. And after treatment with these antibiotics, the lesion generally goes away. All right, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Haemophilus ducreyi. Take care. <laughs>